Lisbon is a beautiful and friendly city, full of culture and an amazing landscape, with beautiful historic architecture but also interesting modern buildings that you should visit. In this video I will show you an alternative tourist guide for architecture lovers. The CCB or the Belém Cultural Center is one of the most important cultural centers in Portugal, featuring a conference space performing arts center and exhibitions, it is located in Belém, near the riverfront and the Jerónimos Monastery. And it was designed by the architects Manuel Salgado and Vittorio Gregotin in 1992. The building consists of several stone boxes joined together in the ground floor, interconnected with courtyards, which gives it an interesting relation with the city and an urban character. It is through the courtyards that the access is made to the exhibition center and other complementary services. The Museu dos Coches, or the new coach museum, designed by the Pritzer winning architect Paulo Mendes da Rocha in 2015, is located in the same street of the old coach museum, Rua do Junqueira. It was designed more like an infrastructure, combining two big blocks that are connected by a bridge. One of them, materialized with concrete and glass, contains the reception, administration, and other services. The other one is the main building that contains the exhibition area, a full white volume floating in the plaza. Along the two buildings, there is a public walkway that connects to the riverfront. This element reinforces the idea that the museum is in fact a public infrastructure. The MAT, or the Museum of Art, Architecture and Technology, is one of the most exciting buildings in the Tejo Riverfront. Located in EDP Foundation Art Campus in Belém, it was designed by the London-based studio ALA in 2016. The building has a unique organic shape, like a shell, that hides the program underneath and creates a plaza on the top of the building that can be used as an extension of public space. A viewpoint that allows you to enjoy a breathtaking view of the river and its surroundings. The material used on the building's facade reminds us the traditional Portuguese tiles and culture. The white three-dimensional tiles reflect its surroundings and give the building a unique identity. The new EDP headquarters was designed by the Portuguese architects Aires Mateus in 2015 and it is located on Avenida 24 de Julho. The office complex presents an interesting approach through the construction of two volumes that are joined and covered by a skin of white laminate. In the space between the two volumes there is a shadowy square with public access. The same elements give the building a unique characteristic, helping to create protection against the sun. The Orient Station is a multi-transportation facility connecting the train, the bus and metro, and it was developed for the Expo 98 and designed by the Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava. The building was developed as a platform where each level gives access to a particular type of transport. The central part of the building has these futuristic structural elements in concrete, like an organic structure, giving the building a character of its own. Other striking element of the building is the roof, that is made with a metal structure and glass, similar to palm trees. The Portuguese pavilion was developed also for the Expo 98 and it was designed by the Portuguese Pritzer winner, the architect Alvaro Cisa Vieira. It is a remarkable piece of architecture. The striking element of the building is the existence of a concave roof made of a thin concrete skin over the square, flanked by two porticos that support it, covered in stone and tile that remind us the Portuguese culture. This covered square is an extension of the building's exhibition space and it can be used as a stage for many kinds of cultural activities. These are some of my favorite modern buildings in Lisbon. 
This is a city rich in history and culture that is projected into the future, combining cultural aspects and innovation to continue to attract and delight those who visit it. Let me know in the comments your opinion about these buildings and this city. Thank you so much for watching.